So, it's date night. <clears throat> Not really. Um, it is a Saturday, and I feel like lots of people go out on Saturdays and whatnot. Um go on little dates or whatever so even though this video is not gonna be up on saturday it's gonna be up on sunday but still whatever wanted to do what like a date night makeup routine kind of video what i would wear on a date and it really depends because sorry my ears are blocked ends like it depends on where we're going it depends on the mood it just depends so you're gonna go out to eat might do something on the lighter side because nice little dinner probably gonna go home you are going to the movies i'm probably not gonna wear makeup at all because they're not gonna see it anyways until we go outside which then if we are going to a party though like we're going out to like dance and stuff i might wear a little bit more so it really depends but usually i probably if i do wear makeup i'd probably wear something a little bit light by the way, I don't think I've ever worn makeup on a date before. Not to put out my business out there, but I don't think I ever have. Um, I might try it one day. <laughs> so I just went in. I recorded this part, but struggles, struggles. Anyway, so I went in with my Smash Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Went with that first, sprayed it all over. And then I just went in with the Professional Benefit primer and those are the two primer primers i use and we're going to start with the rest of the face like i said we got to keep it clear cut and simple i love to go on my 24 hour brow setter by benefit as well um this one is by benefit too right yes both by benefit but oh, i can't even open it hold on okay we just brushed those babies out and now i love to go in with this palette it's a palette i've had for a little bit too long I think it's the Kai palette or whatever. I love going in with this Be Cool color. So if you have anything close to this, um, use that. I just think it looks really pretty. Um, literally not going any with any concealer like I usually would. Because I feel like usually on date nights, I'm rushing anyways. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So this is the All Over Eyeshadow Brush. And literally just going to dip that into that color and put it everywhere. I just love how this color looks on my eyes. So definitely go in with that. It's just like a really pretty, almost burgundy color. I believe it's kind of like a burgundy. Does it look kind of burgundy? A little bit, but it's really light and pretty. And I think it's perfect to just... Put this on top of your eyes and go about this is my go-to for anything light or you know what i'm saying because i feel like going with anything else might be a little bit too bold but if you want to go in with something really bold definitely do like a bold smoky eyeshadow look i feel like that's perfect for like a night out going dancing partying whatever with your boo yeah boom just went in with a few different products i just went in with my fancy beauty full frontal mascara the la colors mascara which definitely helps my lashes look longer i believe this makes them look fuller this one makes it look longer and then i just went in with the bold lip liner by nk makeup and just put that on there don't mind the liner we're going to fix it but just went in with these three products feel like skipping foundation just because i mean it depends on what you prefer. I don't always use foundation, and I think that's kind of okay if you don't. Um, and I was told that a long time ago. Um, so, yeah, it's just that makeup's already such a long process, and y'all know I love to do it. <laughs> I love to do a full face. I just think it's so fun. But sometimes you just don't have time, right? So... I know where I place it right here and right here mm -hmm. you're going to fix this liner situation because it's looking kind of cray cray I'm not good at liner never really have been <laughs> but I try and I end up coming out okay well 
and then boop. Oh yeah. And then we're just gonna blend it out. All right, now I am blending everything out. And yeah, it's looking a little bit crazy right now, but it'll come together. I just used my um, Fenty Beauty bronzer, espresso, and, or it's not bronzer, contour, and then my Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Concealer. And now we're just blending, 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 blending. And I'm using a brush because my sponges need to be cleaned. So, because I did a Black Panther look yesterday. And I used my sponges and it was over. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with something I have been using. It is the Pixie by Petra um, Concealer Concentrate. And it's literally helps you brighten up your dark spots. It helps you brighten up your under eyes. And you do not need a lot. <laughs> so just be mindful. It is in the color, I believe, Peach. Brightening Peach. And it's literally, I probably already used too much. <laughs> but... You know, you're having those days where you're looking a little bit dark under there. Going with this. I'm just going to blend it out underneath the eye with the same brush. This is, I don't know the name of it, but this is what the brush looks like. And just using it to blend it out a little bit. You can already see the difference. Definitely worth it, I would say. I'm going to blend it out, and then I'm going to go in with my liquid blush by MTU NYC, and I'll be right back. It's the liquid blush by MTU NYC, and it's very buildable, which I like. I believe I used this in my last video. I think I did. I'm probably adding a lot, but, like, it's really buildable, and you'll see. You'll see exactly why. I like to put some on my nose. Mm. It's gonna be so cute. What was I about to go in with? Oh, this. <laughs> this is the closest thing I have to like a sponge right now at the moment. So, you can already see how buildable that is. Like, not too much at all. So, it might have looked like I put on a lot, but like, it kind of like. It blends in so well so it's really buildable and I actually sometimes I was gonna say most of the time but that's actually not true but a lot of the time I actually prefer to use a more buildable product I know I gotta go in with some of this uh, powder because you gotta really set the face like we're already almost done uh, I'm proud <laughs> unfortunately I had to use brushes the whole time and if you know me I'm more of a sponge girl but I mean I guess the brushes worked pretty well I already feel like I'm applying way too much product <laughs> but it's fine let that set a little bit and at this point, you can add lashes if you want. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Um, I'm probably not going to. i rather go in with a more natural lash, even though I don't have a lot of lash. But I'm going to let this set. For the last two products, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Invisimat. Oh, by the way, got some nails. Did I show y'all? Look at my nails. Got them done for actually Thanksgiving, but now Thanksgiving's passed. But they're actually Christmassy type nails. I saw these on the gram and I was like, ooh, I want these. The green was actually supposed to be a little bit darker. But she went in with the lighter one and I was like, ooh. She's like, I want to show you these. They're so, I think this would be a better color and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. I love my nails so much. So happy I decided to go in with that color. Anyways, let's go in with the Fenty Beauty. And this is that. I go in right under the eyes. It's just like a blotting powder, but I don't like to go in with too, too much because, yeah. But 
go with a little bit of that and then i'm gonna go in with my favorite this uh rare beauty gloss balm i think it's the stay vulnerable gloss balm and uh, ooh, look how glossy that is so pretty mm. love it and this is the date night look all right but i kind of lied that wasn't the last product the last product is the setting primer which this primer water is not only for priming your face but it's also you can also set and refresh it your face with this primer so Ooh. and voila all right y'all so here's the finished look date night ready if you ask me <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed um i know i looked like i was in a rush come in a rush but like i said lots of people rush on date nights right um but i hope that you will try this look for your date night and i hope that this was helpful and please make sure you like subscribe and comment on this video let me know what you want to see next let me know what you want me to do next and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.